Hello everyone, it's been a minute. Excuse the buzzing in the background. I am just trying out the new Sims update, um, <clears throat> which is including the infants. And now that I've reminded myself, I'm going to go and buy the Grow Together pack. However, my Sim just died, so I might leave it until tomorrow because, you know, it's a bit of an emotional time. <laughs> anyway, I thought this was long overdue as I said um, a catch up I haven't been on here for three weeks and many of you will probably be wondering why I promised a London vlog which have been would have been really good but all will become evident why that never took place um, to be honest just a bit of a raw brutal chat but sometimes that has to happen in life life is not perfect and yeah it's a learning curve that sounds very philosophical but without further ado let's get into it okay so first thing to update you on is i'm now obsessed by green frogs um all roots from of course the build-a-bear green frog treated myself um there was going to be a deal that one of my friends was going to get the green one and i was going to get the pink one thank goodness i never waited for that because the pink ones have sold out um, and yeah, the greens just took you to pass up anyway. And I also have my nails matching. Shout out to Sterling Nails in the arcade. They are very good. Um, these tips, they're acrylics, um, have lasted four weeks now. So yeah, it was just a case of getting the colour changed in them infilled. Anyway. Yes, onto the nitty gritty stuff. So, I put up a little question box on my Instagram and one of the things was, what have I been up to recently? Because I've basically been radio silent. Um, yeah, so as I mentioned, um, I was going to London. I've been there, done that, but just before I went to London, um, I got COVID. <laughs> so there was one day that I literally could not move from my bed and I had lost my appetite for about 10 days. So that was something that um, I was battling with. I'd lost my appetite or I just, I wanted to pick away at food. I didn't really have anything in particular that I was craving. Um, there was something before that as well. Oh yeah. Um, all the adjustments with work just sort of caught up with me. We had recently got self-scanned hills um, and obviously customers don't like the change and yeah that just it, it overwhelmed me but it was dealt with on that day and I'm now over it. I never lost the passion for my job or never had a dislike for it. It was just finding a new way of dealing with things. Um, yeah, London. So, I just wasn't in the best headspace, to be honest. Um, I really wasn't sleeping well at night. We have no clue why. Um, it probably was to do with the whole adjustment with work, but also just waking up, bolt upright in the middle of the night, sweating. Like, people, my mum described it as if I was running a marathon. Like, that's how high my pulse was and how out of breath I was. So goodness knows what was going on with that. Anyway, sleep deprived um, and just feeling a bit self-conscious, which I never thought I would say, but I just, I have had my hair all cut. I think it was like this the last time, but I just wasn't loving it at that particular time. Um, and we only had a carry on, so I didn't really have that much makeup. And because of not sleeping well, not having that much makeup, not loving my hair, the whole thing, I was just like, I do not want to record this experience. Um, yeah, that's why the London vlog never went up.
in terms of since then because that was a couple of weeks ago now yeah it's just been getting used to feeling differently about things to be honest like I am putting all my focus into my Gold Duke of Edinburgh, um, which I'm currently doing. I am also training to become a Brownie leader um, in Girl Guiding, so I've been putting a lot of energy into that. And I just wanted to make sure that I was the best that I could be during the work transition as well. So, yeah, I just I didn't have the head capacity to do many things at once and I had to prioritise. Um... Yeah, that's basically what I've been up to, to answer uh, a short question in a very long way. I also have not redecorated my room, but I gutted it yesterday and just moved some things around. So I have all these, if I don't block the camera with my nail, I have all the IKEA boards, if I can point in the right direction, there we go. Um, so I've just been organising them and we've got... Hagrid in the background, you know that that house close to home. Um, yeah. Also, a little update, which I know many people have mixed opinions of, but I personally love it, and it's a reflection of one of my um, closest hobbies, which is to listen to country music. So my friends will already know, but those who are acquaintances or just know me by name. I have got a cowboy boot tattoo now on my leg. Um, it's a lot bigger than I planned it to be and it was on the other side of my leg that I planned it to be. But here we are, we've done it. Um, also, I let my cartilage piercing heal up. If you watch my crack off vlogs, you'll notice that I have a piercing up here. I'm going to go back and get that done in a couple of weeks time and hopefully get another one as well if they can do two at the same time because I would really like two up there rather than just the one. <sighs> I went country to country as well um, which was very good. No matter whether you've listened to an artist or not, you just enjoy the songs, enjoy the vibe. Um, across this time um, just find content that's more interesting not just sitting in this room and doing things I enjoy um, I might do a video about the experience of getting my first tattoo um, if you want I can talk about the new Sims 4 update and the new Sims 4 pack let me know um, and introduce you to my frogs properly I have got a family of them um, but they all just sort of sit on my bed nice and comfy. I use them mostly as pillows to sleep on. I know it's a bit cruel, but you know, the belly's just perfect for that. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to stop rambling and go now. See you. I'm not going to say next week. I'm not going to commit myself. We're just going to think that it's next week.